1971, I was with my, my uh, brother, one of my brothers, and his friend. His voice told me, he said, you've never really been high. You don't, you don't, you, you man, you, you haven't seen high yet. I'm gonna tell you what to do. So since we were dealing drugs anyway, there were always drugs around the house. So we had some uh, cocaine, some pills called twos. So I took about three or four of those twos, the whole thing, not the half or the half, about four or $500 worth of, worth of, of weed, about $1,000 worth of cocaine. All this, speedball, bad news, that stopped your heart, okay? Dropped all of it, just took it all at one time. The high started rushing up. I was sitting in a nightclub with my brothers. I was 15 years old, but at that bartender let me drink, he said, well, you're gonna drink or move? You're gonna drink or move? And I said, well, I'll drink a soda. He said, no, you gotta drink something stronger than that. So he made me drink the beer. I got out of that, off that bar stool, and, and I went and I found my brother. And I could see him, but he didn't see all this darkness around me. He was drinking, him and his friend was drinking. And I told him, I said, man, I'm overdosing, I'm, I'm ODing. And he said, what? I said, man, I'm ODing, man, I'm dying. Something wrong, man, I took the wrong stuff. And he shook me up and said, go, go over there and sit down. You're messing up our party. I said, for real? He said, go, yeah, I went back over. And all of a sudden, I, I looked at about, about 50 spirits of all kinds. They had black hoods on their head and no face and no face at all, and they grabbed me, and they was laughing, and they said, we got you now, you're going, you, you are, you are dying, you are dying, we got you. They started grabbing all over my body, and I tried to shake him off, and I ran back to my brother again, and I told him, I said, man, it's for real, something got me. He said, oh, I said, take me to where mom is. I said, you, if I knew if they give me home to where my mother was, and she was Holy Ghost filled, filled with God as much as she can be, if she can get lay hands on me and anoint my head with oil, them evil things would leave me alone. So they took me in the car, they were cursing me and everything. My brother and his friend was cussing me out. Man, that's the man, last that's time we're gonna take you with us, man. Shoot. 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 Man, we we'll take you home, you little dude, to make your mama's boys. Out of the floor of the car come these things again. They grabbed me, they harassed me in the back seat. They grabbed me by my tongue. These spirits grabbed my tongue. They were in my ears, they were praying on my eyeballs, all kinds of ways, and then they snatched me and pulled me out of my body. And God knows I'm telling you the truth. I'll never forget this. They dragged me down underneath the, to the car I went. They grabbed my soul and spirit out of me. And I was going down. I could see the bottom of the wheels and that long pipe drive shaft underneath that car spinning as I was going down. I could see all the sides of the earth. I could see all of this stuff. And they got me down into this horrible pit. And they were tormenting, they were hitting me with all kinds of stuff. They were laughing in my ears. They were pulling my eyes, they would have my tongue. They would have me, then they would grab me like this. They would squeeze me, they would yell, they were scratching, they were grabbing all in my private parts. They was all in my ears and pulling stuff out. They were scratching me and they say, you're in hell, you're in hell. And, and they were doing so much tormenting things to me. I said, oh my God, they said, you're in hell. Then they let me go, and I start running and screaming. And I saw like a, a, a road, it was a, and it had, black, it had a black road and yellow lines, and I saw it as it was going up, like out of this, like I could run out of hell. And as I was running down that, that road screaming and yelling as loud as I could, they were behind me. There was a lot of them behind me laughing and laughing. I thought I was going to run out of there. And when I got to where the end of that road was, it was nothing but like a side of a cave with a yellow line painted on it. No way out. And then as I was being tormented, I saw it was some hands, hands of light that came down. And as I was, all I could do was look up. Them spirits, they looked up and they started yelling and screaming. He's ours, he's ours, he belongs to us. He rightfully belongs to us. He worked for us. And those hands grabbed me by my shoulders and they stopped pulling me out of the hands of the grips of all them evil spirits. And it 
pulled me up like this, all the way up. And I can see the bottom of that drive shaft of that car going. Right through it, put me back in my body, and I was, my dead body was like this, and I sat up. And I said, I said, my God, I've been to hell. And I couldn't hear, my, my ears were like blocked up. I can hear my brother and his friend was talking, looking back at me and saying all kinds of stuff. They never even knew I died. You trying to stop with the big dog. You can't hang with us. I ain't never you bring you back with us, man. Mickey, six, six. Hey, man, hold on. That's my little brother you're talking about. I don't care. I said, take us home. Take us home. Take us home. They didn't even know I was dead for a while. I went to hell. They didn't even know. They were still mad at me. Then I heard a voice said, it said, because of your mother's prayers and because you were chosen to do a great work for us, you were spared. And told me, because of my mother's prayers, my mother's prayers was working. It pulled me out of hell. And I tell people all the time, you got a bad child, don't you stop praying for him. A living witness. I was dead. Went to hell. But here I sit today telling this story. People don't believe it, that's on them. I, I really don't, I, you know what, it don't bother me. I care, but it don't bother me. I know what happened to me. God knows what happened to me. See, and I'm telling you, there are people out there that need to hear. If you don't stop doing what you're doing, you can do, you can do the same thing I did. You can go there and some people don't come back. I was just blessed that God heard my mother's prayers and sent me back. So that's why I'm here today. And I'm gonna keep on warning people everywhere around the world that God loves you. He loves you. He don't want you to go to hell. He said, God wishes that no man perish. That means to go to hell. Oh, we're all gonna die sooner or later, eventually. You ain't gonna live 175 years. Not in this body, you're not. You know, so where you going? Heaven or hell? I like heaven better, feels better. <laughs>